Douglas County says the blackberries were on shelves at fresh time, but the source of the infection itself, well, that's still a mystery. And KETV News Watch 7 Sean Everson has a closer look at the investigation. Disease detectives. That's how Justin Frederick describes his team at the Douglas County Health Department. What we're looking for is the cause of illness. And we're also looking at what public health control measures we can put in place to prevent further illness in the community. They've spent the past two and a half weeks investigating the fresh, non-organic blackberries from fresh time contaminated with hepatitis A. The first case of hepatitis A in Douglas County was reported on October 28th. Rachel Hines interviewed some of the people infected and spent hours going through receipts. By verifying with receipts, okay, this person went to this grocery store, this is what they bought, it gives us a lot of evidence to connect the dots and make sure that we have the correct information. And she helped discover a link. What we did notice is that they had this particular grocery store in common and these blackberries that were on sale. From there, the health department's retail food program sent investigators to the stores. We requested uh, shipping records for um, blackberries from August 1st to August 31st to where we can then start to look and focus on, you know, what type of growers they had, look at point source, look at country of origin to try to narrow down. Since there are cases in other states, the FDA and CDC are helping to find an answer. In a statement sent to KETV, Fresh Time says they are committed to the health and safety of their customers and will continue to work closely with these agencies to determine the source of the contamination. Sean Everson reporting there. A reminder, if you bought any of those blackberries from Fresh Time between September 9th and September 30th and have since frozen them, you should throw them out.